Cells are the basic units of all living beings. All living organisms are made of one, or more cells. The developed forms of life are multicellular, formed into tissues and organs. Bacteria is a single-celled organism. And an example for prokaryotic cell, which means the nucleus is not bound by membrane. The major characteristics of any bacterial cell, mainly depend on the size, shape, structure, and arrangement of cells. Each species has its own characteristics. The cells may occur individually, or in groups. The shape of each cell is particular to the species. Bacterial cells are very small. The size ranges from 0.2, to 10 micron or micrometers. For our understanding, 1 micron is 1,000th of a millimeter. The average cross-section of a human hair is about 50 microns. The human eye cannot see anything smaller than 40 microns. Depending on the shape, the bacterial cells are cocci, bacilli, spirilla, vibrio, sparocetes, filamentous, and pleomorphic. Cocci are spherical or around in shape. Bacilli are rod-shaped. Spirilla are the rod-shaped bacteria that are helically curved. Vibrio are slightly curved rods. Sparocetes are helical in shape due to their flexible cell wall. Filamentous are the bacteria that develop filamentous or branched body. Pleomorphic are the bacteria that occur in different shapes. As discussed earlier, the bacterial cell can also be found in groups. The grouping of cells become their one of the characteristics. The most common arrangement of cell in cocci bacteria is as follows. Monococci, single round shaped cell. Diplococci, cells divide in one plane and remain attached in pairs. Streptococci, cells divide in one plane and remain attached to form chains. Tetrads, cells divide in two planes and form a group of four cells. Staphylococci, cells divide in three planes in an irregular pattern and form bunches. Sarsini, cells divide in three planes and form a cuboidal cell arrangement. The structure of bacterial cell include four major components. Structures external to the cell wall. The cell wall Structures inside the cell wall And spores We will discuss about each of these components in detail, in the coming videos. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button or comment and share. Please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified, on the upcoming videos.